What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel here. How about that board? The coolest part about that board you'd think would be the lights, but you're wrong. And let me explain why. So V-Star Offspray is a brand new forged carbon fiber board with this beautiful deck. Now let's go ahead and call out the elephant in the room. It does resemble a company that we all know that is from Australia, slightly like Evolve. It is what it is. But the fact is that it's totally different than any other skateboard that I've ever tried out. And here's the reason why. The deck is this forged carbon fiber, beautifully done, nice micro drop down deck with this beautiful W concave. It is a slightly W concave in the middle there, but it's enough that the two heel and toe gives you this really confident locked in feeling. And that drop in the back there, especially when you're hitting speed, because this thing's got some serious power, allows you to plant your feet firmly and know where you are at any given point. Now, the reason why I say that this deck is probably the coolest deck that's the most integrated feature that's, uh, that's out there right now is that the actual enclosure is underneath and it's mounted via these screws and allows you to lower and raise the actual enclosure, allowing them to be able to fit the 13S 4P, which is the one I have, or the 13S 8P, which is an insane battery size. But you don't have to change the enclosure. You can actually adjust these screws, lowers down the enclosure itself right there, and allows you to fit a bigger battery. So you don't actually have to go out and purchase a different deck or anything like that. This is something that's kind of ingenious right now. I'm surprised that it's taken us this long to kind of think of something like this. Um, it basically allows you to, that if you do have the ability to swap out your batteries or we'll say you start off with the 13S4P and you want to upgrade to something else or maybe do a DIY kit inside of this thing, that you're actually able to expand the battery deck and that enclosure and give you the options to fit whatever you want inside of there. I think that is brilliant when it comes to the e-skate industry. It's one of those new innovative features that's out there. And of course, the integrated light system is pretty cool. Who doesn't love RGB lights when they're coming in there? The deck is probably the best feature of this entire thing, but as a package overall, it's very, very good. So let me go ahead and dive in a little further. So let's go ahead and start off with the trucks. Now they did go with a CNC aluminum traditional kingpin, a 12 inch wide with an eight millimeter axle inside there. Your pretty standard truck system that's out there. Cast aluminum trucks have been out forever, so I really can't complain about them. But again, really would love to see that step a little further with the CNC precision trucks that other companies have come out with. It would be just another chef's kiss to this uh, entire situation. The traditional kingpins give you a gorgeous feeling. I mean, carvability is there and stability is there. Uh, I really haven't ridden too many traditional style trucks recently. I know a couple other companies have been coming out with them, but this does feel really confident inducing at the higher speeds and it gives you a really nice car feel at the lower end speeds. So it's kind of that uh, best of both worlds and uh, I'm finding myself more and more in love with the, with the traditional Kingpin style system. Now there are two options as far as wheels comes. It's these seven inch pneumatic tires with these brand new tires that I've never actually seen before on any other wheel. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's definitely a great tread pattern. It grips the road fantastically. Off-roading, riding on grass and stuff like that definitely felt confident in dudes in that sense. Seven inch I feel like is that perfect sweet spot when it comes to these all-terrain tires where it gives you enough ground clearance to be able to get over things and enough grip on the road and it doesn't drain the battery as much either. They do come with the 97 millimeter ABEX style 78A durometer wheels. Probably perfect for the 13S4P configuration because it is thin enough, but when it comes to the 13S8P, I would say that's probably a little too thick of a deck enclosure, not allowing you to get the clearance that you're looking for when you're out there. So if you are looking for the 13S4P and you do want that double uh, two-in-one board style, I would say the 97 millimeters are probably perfect in a sense, but you can obviously swap out to whatever you want. The Mad 105 wheels, the dad bods, cloud wheels. There's a whole different series of stuff. That's why when two-in-one comes out, perfect option is you can go ahead and play with whatever you want in that sense. When it comes to the motors, 3,500 watt, 6374 custom shaped motors. These motors are incredibly powerful. They pack a punch. I was surprised actually in the pro mode at like that 25 to miles an hour and I kind of still gunned it. It had power to back it up on seven inch tires. It blew me away a little bit. So I was very surprised by that to, be, uh, to begin with. One of those things where it's like crazy powerful when you need it, but super carvy and controllable when you don't. And the good thing about that is too, is that the braking ability also has four class modes as well. So definitely the motors are powerful enough to launch me, no problem, get me up to top speed and uh, really enjoy myself in that sense.
So the remote says I just hit 31 miles per hour and it definitely can still pull. There's no way that this board is only capping out at 31 miles an hour. I'm letting off because I don't have all my protective gear on right now. I don't know what's happening here. But it's uh, it's pulling, it pulls way too hard. <laughs> Even all the way through the top, it's still got power. I, I don't, it's, it's got some serious power. V-Star came out with their own custom ESC 54.6 volt, allowing it to give you the Bluetooth connectivity that's inside there and be able to control different series as far as that goes. Low, medium, high, and pro, and both the speed and brake mode. That just basically gives you different comfortability levels as far as the ESC output. Definitely a surprisingly powerful board. Let's get to the battery. So this is a 13S 4P Samsung 40T configuration. This board is plenty powerful enough and has a stupid amount of range for me. I was actually surprised with the amount of power and output that this had and the range test, I'm gonna be doing a later video for a full, full length range test, but after about 20 miles of riding on this thing, I still only had two bars ticked down and that was with mixed riding from anywhere from just kind of carving a little bit to some high speed bursts, which was surprisingly powerful. I mean, that board, it definitely is the coolest part again, is that battery enclosure. The being able to drop down and raise it up and go that route, it's so much fun when you think about the integration and innovation of that, that you can do so many different options with it, that if you are looking for a DIY board, that you can absolutely get this, have a blast with it, and then later on down the road, be able to customize it to fit to whatever your battery needs are. At 748.8 watt hours, at 16 amp hours total, it's definitely enough to get you comfortably range wise and be able to ride as far as, far as you want essentially. It also does lead me into the next thing is that they do provide you with a five amp charger. Not the biggest charger that's out there, but it's definitely over a year ago, it's been a great standard in that sense. And uh, you know, as far as charge time, it's about three and a half hours from zero to full. So great job there. It's got a little fan motor built inside of it so it keeps itself cool. Uh, I would say as far as all the chargers I've gotten, it's definitely one of those ones where it's like, you know, it's more confident inducing because it does have a little fuse box on there. It's got the fan on there and uh, you know it keeps itself cool in that sense. The V-Star remote, this is what they're calling their magazine remote. With the magazine remote, it looks like kind of like a thing you would load inside of a magazine of a gun, but it's got all the information you need inside there. So your speedometer, your battery remote, your odometer, the top speed you've hit on that particular ride, and then what mode you're in as far as your you know low, medium, high, pro mode for both your braking and your accelerations. And then it tells you your connectivity and forward and backwards as far as your ability to double click on there too. The other cool feature is that when you do have, so you have the D for power on, the S is for your selection of things on there. If you hold down the S mode while your board is connected, it will actually turn on the light system. Getting into the light system, the light system is probably one of the cooler features that's on here, minus the actual belly at the enclosure that drops down. I still think that's probably the best feature that this board has but the integrated light system is definitely a cool option if you are someone who's riding at night. Now it does have a light up red V-Star on the back there that does act as a brake light, but the problem is, is that it doesn't actually do it unless you have the lights activated on. So when your lights are on and you pull back the brake, that brake light flashes along with the board underneath there, no matter what color goes to it, on like it turns to red and it flashes as well too. So it lets people know that you are braking around them. When you're riding without the lights on, the light up is still there, but it doesn't act as a brake light. I would say that's probably an opportunity that you know Vestar could have actually uh, integrated, maybe something they can change down the road, but uh, it's definitely a cool feature. I love the, when you do start rolling, it turns this like rainbow light on there, and then as you're rolling, it starts kind of shows like a pulsating, moving effect there. So as you're riding, it's just like glides, it looks like you're kind of rolling while you're rolling. The lights do this really cool fun dance, and then after about 10 seconds or so, it flashes, changes to another color, flashes, changes to another color, and just kind of rotates all the way through there. And then as you come to a brake, obviously the brake light ding, ding, blinks on, good to go in that sense. So definitely really cool in that sense. Uh, just a great feature you know, for nighttime riding, especially when you're someone who is riding a lot at nighttime, it's, uh, it's good to stand out and to be seen. One of my other favorite things is that they do include this really cool hard shell case inside of here. This holds everything you need inside of here, which is absolutely fantastic as far as your chargers inside of here, your information, your spare belts, your ABEC pulleys, your T-tool, some spare bear bearings and pulley systems and spaces inside there, 
The, even the remote itself has its own hard shell case that if you do want to throw this in a backpack, it's got this really nice charging section inside of here for your cable, flip this over, sits inside of here. That's a really cool feature. I love something like this that you'd be able to kind of keep everything encompassed in one. When you know you get into me, when you start having multiple boards, everything just kind of gets lost. So being able to throw everything inside of one little hard shell case, zip it up and be able to store it aside, that's a fantastic little touch. I love that. Thank you so much VSTAR for incorporating that too. And uh, another funny thing is that if you didn't notice this, that VSTAR is, um, they brand their own belts as well. It's pretty cool. Not too many people out there have their own branded belts. Really cool feature, a little standout feature there. So. Who is this for? This is for someone that is, if you're getting into the sport, you're looking for a really nice, higher voltage 13S four piece configuration, gives you more efficiency, more top end speed. It's definitely super powerful enough and you know, enough to put a smile on my face, especially in that pro mode. I was leaving it more in high mode when I was riding around, but in that pro mode, you really got to hold on because that thing you got to hunker down. That thing can buck you off there really quickly. So super amount of power. The integrated light system is definitely a great feature. And then looking down the road, further down the road, that expandable enclosure is just brilliant. That if you are someone that says down the road, you wanted to upgrade your battery, you have that option to do so. You can absolutely drop the deck down, put a different battery enclosure inside there, get everything hooked up and be able to have a different, totally different board within the same board. So you're not you know, buying multiple different boards or closures or decks. It's definitely a cool feature that I would say stands out amongst the crowd. In the world of carbon fiber boards, this is definitely one that I can recommend. Uh, put a smile on my face. There is a discount code, $50 off down below here. Uh, check that link out. Hope you enjoy this one. I will be doing a full range test on this one too. A couple different comparisons on range tests. Some other boards are gonna be coming out here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get like a whole group of them together, get a bunch of buddies up here and ride out here as well too. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up. Until next time guys, be safe, always wear a helmet. Peace.